this video will explain the features and the basic features available on the module where you can use it for your practical works. I will be explaining the limited features where it will be helpful for your practical work submission. Just go to the dashboard. So as I said in the previous video, these are the courses that I am offering. So as a teacher, as a student, you will be getting the uh, listed out the courses where you, what are all the courses that you have reg registered. So I am explaining with the e-content development practical works. Just click this. Hmm? As I said in the previous video, in this course, you have been registered as a teacher role because to submit your assignments. You see, I, as I said, this number of students registered for this course. To enable this, just uh, uh, yeah, see this is the left uh, dashboard where you can see the participants list and what are all the course contents that you have made. So here the course topics, I have made it as an individual student's name because I am going to give individual sections for individual students where you can submit your practical works here. So to activate this, just go to the right top corner in this settings wheel, just click turn editing on. So once you click this turn editing on, this from the middle part of the panel layout will display the editing options. So okay, for example, I am going to show it uh, with the participant Adil Ahmed. So just you can change the name also. So this is editable. Okay, just you what what you have to do is uh, Adil A H A M M E D. Just press enter. Okay. So add an activity or resource. This is what you are going to do throughout the course. You are going to add the activities and resources by time by time. What are the things that you, we are going to tell that you have to follow. Just click add an activity or resource. Just see there are two sections in the activity and resource panel. Activities, some few activities and resources. See, under resources, books, file, folder, IMS content package, label, page, URL is there. So if you want to know what this activity is or what this uh, uh, book can do, just click this activity in the right side, it will, the description will be given for that particular activity. The assignment activity module enables a teacher to communicate task, collect work and provide grace and feedback like that it will be there. Then an attendance, a chat, a big blue button, it is like a real time conference, lets you create from within Moodle links to real time online classrooms using big blue button. So mostly what we use is just assignment and student attendance and a forum and if you are going for a quiz, you see there is a quiz is there. The quiz activity, activity enables a teacher to create quizzes comprising questions of various types like that. You can create a quiz that we will see in a separate video how to create quiz and game like quizzes are there and going to the resources for your first exercise I will be start with the resources okay a file a file you have to upload the file module enables a teacher to provide a file as a course resource where possible just click the file and add to your course section it will ask the first fi uh, file that you are going to add is for example the assignment that uh, given for you is short short learning object okay just name it uh, give description so uh, uh, this uh, short learning object is on the topic of uh, just fill, fill the topic whichever the topic you are going to give and just give it in two three lines about the description and select files which file you are going to upload okay for example if the server files, recent files, upload a file, just go to this upload a file. It will take you to the present local hard disk, hard drive. Choose file and you can select any of the files here. See, so for example, I am randomly, I am selecting some JPEG file. Even you can upload the movie files also, screenshots. I have taken many screenshots. Okay, just click this e-learning JPEG file choose for upload and upload this file. This file will be appeared here. Okay. If you see this appearance, 
whether this particular file and this particular activity should how it should appear on your course automatic or embedded in the course or it has to open up in the new window so i have given my course materials in uh, uh, in the both formats like embedded and pop up mode some videos it has to give it in the pop up mode and let me give it as embedded embedded means it will be embedded on the course page itself you see the common module settings whether to show it this particular activity on your course page or you have to hide from the students for now okay yeah if you put like uh, if you enable this hide from students option later you can uh, make it visible also okay uh, let me show how to visible so and right now i am putting it as high as hide from students we will make it visible later also restrict access okay there are uh, restrictions are there for example date grade user profile and this we will see in the later due course when we go in more detail okay for example if you are giving this students should complete this activity or it is not important do not need indicate activity completion or so activity has complete when condition submit that means whatever the activity file you are uploading on the uh, moodle page that definitely student has to complete it or that students can manually mark the activity as completed so for our completion tracking the tax and the competencies this we will see in the later classes for a, for, for today's class how to add a a uh, resource that is a file to the course as with reference to the activity given the assignment given for the short learning objects okay just save and return to course you see now this short learning object file is added to your course as i said no it's hidden from students if you want to enable at any time just click edit and just put it as show then it will shown to the participants you see if you want to see this just click it it will show what the file which we have given okay so this way you have to upload your this way you have to upload your activities as i said one file that is the script file the content file that you are going to upload and one video file okay let me tell how you how to upload the video file just go to add an activity or resources just put page or url the url module enables a teacher to provide a web link as a course resource for said okay just click add okay uh, yeah that particular slo video slo video uh, yeah give the topic uh, of uh, here the topic subject topic okay then as i said earlier no uh, after finishing recording your video you just upload it in your youtube just go to youtube for example see this is my the first video that i have created take this shareable link and come here yeah just paste it here the link you can paste it here the the video is about um, what is the model log model login details and a basic uh, introduction about model usage okay just as like same whether this particular video that the youtube video has to open up in a new window just put in pop up or if it, that has to be displayed on the same course page put embed or if you put it as open it it will be placed uh, the current page will be replaced by the youtube page it will take the redirect to the you page where just put embed you can try different options okay just save and return to course yeah what you can see here is see this is objects file that is the content that script that you are going to upload it here and this is the video just click it you see the video file which is in the youtube is going to display here that just it is embedded hmm. yeah this is the description yeah so this is the file see in adil ahmed just go to the activity that video that you have uploaded just a single click it where you can see the the video 
see that uh, the description that we have typed over there now see the video is about Moodle log in details and basic introduction about Moodle course just click it it will it will start playing yeah this is the procedure to upload your videos upload your activities as per now what I am just summarizing what we have seen in the video we have we entered the course page and we start, uh, just go here click turn editing on now it is editing uh, it is already on if you just click uh, turn editing on under your name just add an activity or resource right now we are not giving any activity we are working on resources only the assignments that you are, the assignment practical assignment that you given is to create a slo okay first go for file this file resource can be used for uploading your what is a script maybe in pdf format maybe in jpeg format or any file format then this url is the second activity where you have to upload your video that you have recorded okay are you clear just follow the step thank you thanks for patient listening happy learning